Star Wars The Acolyte, Episode 3, the episode everyone was talking about, and the reactions are glorious. And I'm just going to bring it all to you because I love this train wreck. I love what's happening, man. This is prime entertainment. I mean, look at Adam here, before the show even aired, just came out swinging saying, tonight's episode of The Acolyte will excite the Star Wars fan base in a way few things have in recent memory, I think. Oh, it's going to unite the fan base, all right? It's also going to make sure that the pee babies whine and cry and pee their pants live on their YouTube streams. It's going to be a wild night, y'all. Oh, and another user said this after the episode aired. They were responding to someone who didn't like the episode. They say... This is the real reason you can't admit the show is good. You hate gay people. Oh. <laughs> I mean, there is so much more I could be posting, but maybe 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 in a few days we'll just we'll just collect them all. Well, if that's what you think, what are you going to say to Forbes magazine then? The Acolyte, episode 3 review. The worst Star Wars episode ever made. I'm not making this up. This is the title of the article from Forbes. Now, okay, just let me do a disclaimer. There will be spoilers. And I don't think this is my full review. I might do another video like I did last time. Once I'm able to uh, collect the video and do a full breakdown. Um, let me know in the comments if you want me to do that. I'll be happy to. But uh, the, I'm going to go through some of the episode from this article, and oh my goodness, it's, it's, it's going to be something. I hope you're ready. Hold on to your buckets, because here we go. Power one. Power two. The power of many. The power of one. Okay, here's a quick recap. What you just saw was a scene from the show where witches, all women, were singing a song. They go through this for a few minutes, and uh, we learned that they do know of the Force, but they don't call it the Force. They're like, no, it's, it's actually a thread. That's right. Uh, may the thread be with you. And you could pull on the thread and uh, do stuff. And uh, the main woman here, which they call Mother, can create life and put a baby in uh, any one of these women, just, uh, you know, hey, I'll just create it, and here you go, you're pregnant, so let's have more babies, force babies, or excuse me, thread babies, well, now you know the episode, pretty much, what happened, the Jedi came and took the babies, and uh, that's about it, but let's get into the article. The third episode of Disney's The Acolyte is an embarrassment to the entire franchise, Though the same could be said for so much Star Wars these days outside of Andor. Here's one exchange between the two characters. This was a uh, flashback scene when the uh, twins were little, about eight years old. May, the Jedi are bad. Osha, the Jedi are good. Later, the same two characters, the twin protagonist, antagonist of the story, as children in this flashback episode say to one another... What have you done? What have you done? What have you done? That's right. They repeat this to each other back and forth. What have you done? What have you done? What have you done? The dialogue is uh, off the charts for this $180 million project. <laughs> this entire episode is a bad joke. We learned that May and Osha lived with their mothers in a society of witches, all of whom are female. It appears they were conceived using the Force, or something. Force-using witches are also apparently frowned upon in the galaxy. They call the Force the Thread. I'm getting dark side vibes here, though I'm also getting the sense that this show will try to be an all-edgy and make the Jedi out to be the bad guys, which we've seen play out about half a dozen times at this point. And yes, this line is from the show. The galaxy is not a place that welcomes women like us. This character, which everyone was calling Mother, the person that creates life 
in the bellies of the other witches was talking to the twins because one of the twins is feeling like, you know, I, I don't want to be here anymore. I don't want to be in this sanctuary. And she was saying, you know, you guys are special and the galaxy doesn't like people like us. And so I'm assuming she was talking about the force or excuse me, the thread using witches. The galaxy doesn't like them. But of course, people all over the internet is taking it as messaging for today. This user here says this line is so powerful within the context of the show and outside, considering what so many black and POC Star Wars fans, more recent women, have gone through. I teared up. I'm not quite sure what she means by this. There has always been diversity in Star Wars. There's always been powerful women in Star Wars from day one. Um, but these types of comments are just all over social media right now. So maybe one of y'all can explain it to me uh, in the comments section. But uh, I'm it's over my head, man. This is just seems like messaging to me. The article continues. Osha and May fight with one another constantly and are very, very irritating throughout the episode. Osha wants to leave her people and May wants to stay. When the Jedi show up and ask to test the girls for their force powers, they agree to fake not having any. But Jedi Master Soul convinces Osha not to lie. And she says she wants to be a Jedi and leave with them against her mother's wishes. May is upset and threatens to kill her sister. Now remember, they're only eight years old. Locking her in their chambers and burning the entire witch village to the ground, apparently killing everyone. Soul saves Osha and they escape. What a disaster. Okay, let me uh, let me just fill you in on the episode. All right, forget the. This is the review here. Let me just fill you in on everything because I I could I could see people like wait what what is happening here? I'm gonna fill you in. Okay, let me just recap the entire episode so you kind of know what's going on and where this article was going. You see this picture here. This has the twins that they're older, May and Osha. Now this episode is an entire flashback on how the twins became who they are. They were conceived by the Force, but the two witches that were both female, they don't call it the Force, and they teach the other people that it's actually called the Thread, and you can pull on the Thread to manipulate and use it for powers. I'm not joking. So the two twins were born of the Force, like Anakin, the Jedi just randomly show up when they're like singing and dancing as witches and are looking for children. Then they lie and say there's no children here. One of them show up like uh, from behind another witch and they both come out. Now, the Jedi that are there are the ones that May is hunting down. So you have Soul, right? You have the two other ones that are already killed and uh, one more, right? the uh, Wookiee Jedi. So May wants to kill them all. When the Jedi show up, he's like, we should test them because we, we sense the force and they could join us and become Jedi. The witches don't want them to leave, but Osha feels like she wants to leave and become a Jedi. They tell them to lie. Say, so don't so tell them you don't have force power so they could just leave. Well, Osha doesn't lie and says, no, I, I do have powers and I'd like to become a Jedi. This makes May, the other one, angry. And so she locks Osha up in her room and grabs a candle. Listen to what I'm saying here. A candle. And sets the door on fire. That's all made out of brick and rock. The candle ignites the door and single-handedly burns down the entire witch fortress. I am not joking. Sends it all aflame. Everybody dies. Osha escapes. While there was a bridge that was breaking, she tried to save her sister May. 
She falls, Osha falls, and Soul the Jedi grabs her hand, miraculously showed up out of nowhere, pulls her up, and uh, yeah, holds her tight, and off they go to become a Jedi, only to, to learn in episode one that she washes out of the Jedi Academy, you know, before she completes her training. So that's the episode. We learned that the Force is the thread, that females together with the Force power can create life like they did with Anakin. That's going to be weird now. And uh, I guess we have a new chosen one. The article continues with mass confusion. (laughs) It says, I'm confused about the entire motivation of May, who wants revenge on the Jedi but is actually the one responsible for killing everyone. I know, it it makes no sense. She set the fire to the bricks that killed everyone. Um, And then he goes on to say, if anyone is actually dead, after all, both twins thought the other one was dead. It seems likely none of the witches died at all. The Jedi in episode two, the guy that's been floating around for 10 years killed himself over this oy vey yeah that's right he was that upset uh he really didn't have anything to do with it he just kind of showed up and then got on the ship you mean this incident where the whole witch sanctuary burning down caused him that much pain that he sat for 10 years not speaking to nobody and then decided that it was time for him to self-delete because uh you know he couldn't live with himself this is so stupid Uh, The witch chant, which I showed earlier in the video, was one of the lamest chants in the history of all chants. I wanted to giggle. I think we all laughed. I think some of us were in shock. I think some of us cried. He also said I also wanted to cry. The article ends saying, I have a theory. Imposters have taken over Star Wars and lots of other popular genre properties from The Witcher and True Detective. They're masquerading as fans and pretending, and this is worse, to know how to tell a good story. It is more obvious than ever that they do not. Welcome, Forbes. We've only been saying this for years now. (laughs) But there you have it. The Force is officially female. They can create life. Now, I'm sure social media is going to be a barn burner, baby. (laughs) People defending, people calling other people crazy. The mudslinging is going to be glorious. And you know what? I'm just going to bring it all to you here on the YouTube channel because it's entertaining to me. And I'm going to say this. If you are enjoying The Acolyte, good for you. Don't listen to what we have to say. Just make up your own minds. This is just my opinion. I think this is terrible. I think this uh, changes Star Wars forever. I think this is what Kathleen Kennedy wanted. I think uh, they got everything. They got everything they wanted. So now the Force is just whatever. You can call it whatever. You can do whatever with it. And if you uh, are a witch, you can just create life. It's not special anymore. It's not. It's uh, who anyone can do it. Houdini, whatever. Linguini, Martini, Bikini. (laughs) Just... Just uh, just make it. We'll just make it whatever we want to be. That's it. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. This is Jay. Ah, It's going to be a great month. I tell you, a great month.